get it right. Selfie stick. The fucking Everyone's welcome at story time. That's right, even you. You can come here and you can listen to a story. You can get entertained. You can get pissed off. You can fucking troll me. I don't care. Okay, let's start the story. This story is about me. The last time I got drunk and went to a party. This was about a year ago. This was after I went vegan. I mean, you know, I was still a naughty boy. So my mate invited me to this party, right? It was his birthday party. And it was gonna be going up, as the kids would say nowadays. This was gonna be fucking lit. It was gonna be off the chain. Do you know what I'm saying? It was gonna be music, it was gonna be alcohol, it was gonna be hot chicks that didn't show up. It was gonna be lots of guys. It was basically a sausage fest, but hey, whatever. But hey, a party's a party. There was a couple of people there that I didn't know. This was a really good friend of mine who was having the party, it was his birthday. You know, we used to run amok when we were younger. So, you know, he was used to me being a bit crazy. I got a bit nostalgic, I got a bit sentimental when I was there and thought, you know, maybe we should take it back to the crazy days, you know what I mean? And one of his neighbors was there and, you know, this guy was all right. I mean, I didn't know him. He seemed like he was all right. But when I get drunk, I turn into a real fucking asshole. I get really cheeky. I just do crazy shit. You know, I have to be the craziest one at the party. This was the last time I ever got drunk. So yeah, that was the pre-story to the story. So get ready for the story. So this guy that I didn't know, let's call him David. So David's playing pool and I'm talking to my friend. Let's call my friend Andy. So I'm talking to Andy. David's playing pool, and then, you know, I go up to, what did I call, say his name was? David. So I go up to David, and I'm like, yo, David, can I play, oh, you know, I'll play the winner. And he's like, oh, yeah, cool. He finishes up his game, and he was the winner, so I went and started playing my game of pool with him, and um, he won. And that pissed me right the fuck off. Like, how dare you win at a game of fucking pool when you're playing me at a game of pool? Because fucking, I don't like that shit, you know? I want to win, you know what I mean? Like, fuck me dead. Don't win against me yeah so he won and I was I was a bit pissed off you know because he was a real smart ass about it you know being a smart aleck running around fucking uh beat ya beat ya I was being a bit of a smart ass too you know telling him I was gonna beat his I was gonna beat him and he was gonna have to run around the table with his pants down and I was gonna make him you know choke on my balls and my pool cue is gonna go straight up his ass you know like dumb shit like that he thought he'd be cool and you know, try and rip on me. Me being the ultra fuckwit that I am, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get a bit push and shove you with him. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't, you know, not to fight him or anything, just be a bit push and shove. You know what, I didn't really care, to be honest, if we were gonna have a fight. It was just, I w I'm just a real asshole when I get drunk. So, I'm like, joking around with him, like nudging him around, pushing him around, and you know, he's taking it pretty well. At one stage, I don't know what came over me, I just, I seen him standing there near the pool table, and I just thought, I just looked at him, and I was like, fucking right, and I just rushed him, you know? Just rushed him and grabbed him in the, like a fucking, like a rugby tackle. I like, tackled him, you know? And we both went flying on the floor, and he was like, fuck this. He's like, fuck you, and fuck this party, and I'm going home. So he went back next door, and I was like, oh, fuck. And then I realized, like, I, I think I just went a little bit too far. And I talked to my mate. I was like, you know what? I think I was a bit of an asshole. And he's like, yeah, you definitely were a fucking asshole. So I was like, yeah, but you know, they all know I'm an asshole. They was like, why did you fucking invite me to a party when you know I'm going to be a fucking dickhead? Don't invite me to parties. <laughs> If you're gonna invite me to a party, just think about it for a little bit longer and then make the decision not to invite me. Because, I'm so he went home and I was feeling bad, so I'm telling everyone, fuck man, I need to apologize. You know, I really wanna to apologize to this guy. And they're like, you just stay here, we'll go over there and talk to him. Two of my friends, my mate Andy, that I knew really well, and another mate, they went over there and they were talking to him, going, oh yeah, you know, just, you know, just fucking, he's just a bit of a dickhead. He, you know, come back to the party. He's, he's not really a bad guy. He, you know, blah, blah, blah. Come back to the party, you know, you know, things like that. And the guy was like, nah, nah, fuck it. I'm not going back over there. This guy's a dickhead. Mind you, this guy was from Gosnells, the same place I grew up. So Gosnells people aren't exactly known for their friendly dispositions, if you know what I mean. Except I was, I was known for being friendly, but hey, I'm, okay, back to the story. And he's like, no, I don't want to come back to the fucking party. That guy's a fucking dickhead. I don't even want to look at his face. I don't even know why anyone would want him. So they came over and they said, you nah, mate, he doesn't want to come over because you're a fucking idiot. And I was like, okay, cool. I really want to apologize to him. So they're like, nah, mate, just leave it. Just, you know, just have some fun. Fucking have another drink or whatever. Just leave it alone. I'm like, nah, nah, man. I gotta fucking say sorry to him. I feel so bad about this. I'm gonna go over there. And they're like, dude, just fucking leave him alone. You know, you've done enough. You've done enough damage for one fucking night. Can't you just be normal? 
and I was like, definitely not. Tonight's not the night for being normal. Against my better judgment, well, I didn't have any fucking judgment because I'm a fucking idiot. Against everyone else's better judgment and against everyone else's advice, I went across the road, I knocked on his door and I said, well, actually, I didn't even get to say anything. He started screaming at me, uh, no, get the fuck off my property. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking wanker, fucking, I'm gonna fucking stab you, I'm gonna stab you. And I thought, oh yeah, whatever, I've been, you know, I grew up in a bit of a bad area. I've been told I'm gonna get stabbed every fucking day. My own mum used to threaten to stab me. For a cup of tea was a bit cold. So I was like, oh dude, come on, just chill out, come back to the party or whatever. And he goes, I'm gonna fucking stab you. I'm gonna stab you right in the fucking head. I don't think he said it like that, but you know, I got the gist that he wanted to stab me. Sometimes you just get that feeling that someone wants to stab you with a knife. And especially when they're saying they want to stab you. I kind of, yeah, I knew he wanted to stab me. But I didn't really think it was going to happen, you know, because pff, fucking people say they're going to stab me all the time and they never do it. So I'm still standing there and he's like, you better fucking get out of here. And I'm like, no, nah, mate, come back to the party. You know, I know I'm a fucking dick here. Come back to the party and we'll play pool again. And this guy, he goes, I'm going to fucking, I told you he was going to stab me. This guy pulls out a big fucking knife It was about... This fucking was a massive fucking knife and he starts walking out the door with this knife like this. So I start walking backwards gum and to tell you the truth, I'm such a fucking idiot and I was so drunk, I wasn't even scared. I, w <laughs> I wasn't even worried. So this guy starts walking at me with this big knife and I'm walking backwards going, whoa dude, look man, I just fucking, you know, just apologize, just come back to the party, you know, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry dude. And he's, he's screaming at me going, you're fucking dead cunt, I'm gonna chop your fucking head off. I'm gonna chop your head off and I'm gonna stab you right in the fucking head with this knife. You're gonna get stabbed, cunt. And I was like, whoa, fucking just chill out, man. Just chill out. And by this time, we're like halfway up the road. Everyone else has come out of the party to check out what's going on. And I'm like, okay, okay. And he goes, you're fucking dead. And he lunges at me with this knife, grabs the back of my head and puts this big knife to my throat. And I'm like, you know what? Yet again, I was so fucking drunk and stupid and, and dumb. I just went like, I just went, uh, like, I was, I was just saying sorry. I didn't try and, like, I didn't try and do anything about it because I was in such a fucking stupid state. I didn't, you know, like, really, you're going to chop my fucking head off? I don't think so, mate. I'm drunk, you know. I'm a fucking, I'm a cool guy, you know. You're not going to chop such a cool guy's head off. So, you know, I just wasn't doing it. I was just like, oh, yeah, cool, man. Sorry, just fucking, you know, whatever. So then... You know, all my mates are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's like, ah, rah, 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 I'll fucking stab you later, cunt. And then, I'll stab you later. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, mate, I'll stab you later. No, and then he fucked. So he walked off. He walked back into his house. I walked back into the party. And, yeah, that's the end of the story. Well, I'm not going to end the story like that. Look, I appreciate everyone watching the story time. This is, I'm having so much fun telling these stories. I hope you guys are having fun watching them. And please subscribe, like, tell your mum, tell your dad. Actually, probably don't tell your mum, tell your dad, because they're probably not going to like these stories. And um, if any of the characters in my stories, you know, you guys can relate to them and you feel like maybe I'm talking about you, I probably am.